Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Marie Claire. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, held today his weekly majlis at Riffah Palace. His Royal Highness welcomed a broad range of visitors, including members of the royal family, senior government officials, members of the Council of Representatives and the Shura Council, members of municipal councils, prominent religious figures, academics, community leaders, journalists and diplomats accredited to Bahrain. The attendees expressed their appreciation for His Royal Highness's keenness to engage with citizens by maintaining the commitment to Bahrain's values, traditions and national identity. The attendees also commended the efforts of His Royal Highness in reinforcing the sustainable development of the Kingdom under the development programme initiated by His Majesty the King, as well as the government's efforts to deliver significant improvement to public services. Royal Guard Commander Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa patronized today the closing ceremony of the joint drill Hamad Hawks 3, the parachute jump 4 and the free parachute jump 5 held at the Endurance Village by the Royal Guard with the participation of a group of British troops. Held between August 30th and October 30th, 2015, the session consisted of a number of exercises including parachute jumps, free parachute jumps and a landing rope. It is part of the Bahrain Defence Force BDF's training plan and programmes to prepare highly qualified and rehabilitated national competencies in various weaponries. A number of Royal Guard affiliates participated in the training session. After some Holy Quran verses were recited, a briefing on the stages of the training sessions, as well as their theoretical and practical aspects, was presented. The Royal Guard commander then presented the graduates with appreciation certificates and awarded the top achievers and trainers expressed great admiration for the outstanding performance of the participants and wishing them further success. He lauded the outstanding long-standing friendship relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom, praising the existing cooperation between them in various fields, especially regarding the exchange of expertise and cooperation in the military field. Royal Guard Special Force Commander Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, senior BDF officers and former UK Chief of Defence Staff General Sir David Richards attended the graduation ceremony. And with that, it's time to hand you over to Bara with the latest in business news. Good evening, Bara. Good evening, Mary Claire. Good evening and welcome to Business News on Bahrain TV. Under the patronage of Labour and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, Temkin held today a ceremony to honour industrial companies that made exceptional efforts to provide quality professional training for their employees. The ceremony was part of Temkin's efforts uh, to encourage the creation of developmental opportunities for citizens to help them prosper and contribute efficiently to the development of the private sector as the main engine of growth of the national economy. With more than 150 representatives uh, from industrial sector attended the ceremony, during which 12 companies and 20 employees were recognized for their achievements. These include Medel Cables, Awal Dairy, Dumum Poultry Company, and Bahrain Steel. The Bahrain All Share Index closed today at 1,249.61 points, an increase of 0.26 points above yesterday's closing. The raise was in the investment sector, but investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector, representing 8.97% of the total value of securities traded. Results indicated that 41 equity transactions took place with a volume of 544,782 worth value of 81,131 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 